T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Legends Series Card Back Edition. Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Where they came up with this name, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. But yeah. Here's this. Here's this up close. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get them out of there. All right, this is gonna be an all-in-one review, meaning little to no editing, unless something too cringy happens, and then I'll edit it. I, I don't wanna make y'all suffer. But anyway, as we can see, just like the Amazing Spider-Man, he comes with his unmasked face, the masked face, and two web shooting hands with a fist and an open clenched hand. They don't give you another fist, they don't give you an open like wall crawling or <laughs> relaxed hand, you just gotta live with what you got. And let's bring Peter Parker in so we can see this face right here. There is your Toby Maguire face. Now, hmm, unlike the Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland, this one, it looks like him, especially from certain angles, like this, definitely. All of them look good from this angle. But that Tom Holland face looked better on camera to me. The Android, Andrew Garfield one looked good, period. No matter what, camera or off camera. But this one is the most off to me personally. But you tell me what you think in the comments. Here is his hair. Here is the webbing on his body, which was always more silvery and raised and you see the texture like all throughout the seats comic book movies and this probably started the trend i'm not sure or uh blade i, I don't know if i can compare blade blade's always been a guy in the leather and the x-men they used to wear spandex but then they wore leather but let me get back on subject the comic book movie costumes always have more texture than in the comics where they were just spandex. Anywho, let me mention this problem again, and this is even more prime and perfect. This definitely could have had mid-shin swivel, and they just didn't do it for whatever reason. But the costume is like really, really consistent with the original, but they did update his physique to look like it did in No Way Home, where he has more of an older person body like an athletic older person body articulation oh yeah I, I don't really like that but articulation the head can look up a lot a ton it can look down not so much but you get that and this and it rotates the arms go out to there beyond 90 you do get butterfly right here swivel right there and the elbow does bend like that. And this is what you're working with when the elbow is bent. All the hands go out and in like that and swivel. You get a ton of waist tilt right there and rotation. It can come back and go forward. And the inverted ab crunches, they call it, bends in more than the Amazing Spider-Man and the, the Tom Holland one. And the crazy thing about that, I said he's an older person physique, but he can crunch the best. And he goes back like that. Drop down hips. Kind of stiff, the legs go out to there, but they can kick up above 90. Then go back some, you get swivel right there endless double knee action and he can kick his own back the foot goes all the way back all the way forward and angle pivot here's the bottom of the feet by the way if you care the head can come off the masked face can come on and this mask doesn't really go down that much but it can look up a lot head tiltage and yeah, he is posable. Like I said, with the other two Spider-Men, 
Like, he is great. But it would have been, like, even better if he had something like a web that he can act like he's shooting out. All the hands that I mentioned. Maybe a secondary face with an expression. That would have been good. But, um, yeah. Definitely another wall crawling hand. So you could decide which way you want him to be posed in his Spider-Man pose. And let me pause right now. Like I said, stopping during cringy moments. I didn't want to force y'all to see me suffering trying to get that pose. <laughs> but he, he's crazy poseable, as you can see. It would be better if you could do mid shin swivel or boot swivel, as it's called. And if the head could actually... Hmm, I don't know, that, that goes up, but I wish it would go up more. If they would go back to the hinge situation, I guess they wanted the, the next to be like this so you don't see ugly sculpting like the hinges in the neck, but bring it back, I don't care. Look at that guy back there. I had him facing the wall, but now he's slowly, creepily turning around. And here we are with these three. And oh yeah. Watch this footage again now that I noticed that guy turning around. I did not plan for that and I didn't do it as I was not pausing and whatnot the whole time. So when he turned around, that happened during the review. But anyway, shortest, middle size, tallest. I don't know. I'm guessing that might be accurate. Let's, let's see. Let's make sure. Yeah, friendly neighborhood is slightly, slightly taller. But I think it's cool that we could get three of these guys at the same time. I'm going to guess. Now, I know they were making these. I'm going to guess this guy was in the works. But they wanted to release him in the outfit he was actually wearing in the movie first. So they used the existing figure. But it's cool that they gave us these three all at the same time with completely different bodies. That is awesome. And I know a ton of people probably have been wanting a modern version of this guy. Which you have, same thing for this, and everybody liked this suit at the end of the movie. So, I think these are three great Spider-Man. And yeah, I don't know if you need me to compare it to anything else. Nothing else really is important to be honest. Besides, maybe this, but it didn't open it yet, so yeah, yeah. You'll see that later. Here they all are unmasked, and like I said, this is really cool. This is a cool moment to have, to be able to get these at retail with these faces and get the faces to look this good, even if I think they are mildly off on some characters. You let me know how you feel about the faces. I think this one is 100% the best. Like, I, I, somebody loves them, but anyway. I like all four, all three of these characters. Um, I just wish these had, I wish they had more accessories being greedy. And um, yeah, and the other things I was mentioning about Articulates. But anyway, I got all three of these from Amazon. I will have a link to this one in the description like I did for these guys. The link to them is in the description on their videos. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for this and other videos. I have several G.I. Joe figures. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click.